I just walked in the door. It is May 7th, 2023, 12.30 p.m., episode 2112. Uh, this is the batch of roughs from the week before. Um, so none of these, well, a couple of these, I think one of these made it as an official cartoon. This one right here almost did, but it really just wasn't into the whole baggage thing because it was just seemed like, like a trope that's been used so much, and I just wasn't into it. I like the way that I was doing it here, but, I mean, better than what I've seen other people do. But I just like, eh, I should probably like it just, I think Biden had too many bags here. I couldn't find enough stuff to label and Trump didn't have enough bags. So maybe that, that should have been the cartoon. Um, so, uh, I left Norfolk this morning. I, I booked a train last night because I found out that my friend couldn't, um, drive me up here. Uh, he thought he was going to, he drove me down there cause he was on his way home and picked me up on spur of the moment Friday night and then Saturday morning he told me ah, I, I don't have to drive back up so you need to catch a train and that's not a problem uh, but I didn't know when I booked the train that I was gonna have to take a bus to the train uh, which was an Amtrak bus took me from the Norfolk to Newport News got on the train he came up here the train sat in Richmond for like a flipping hour and then uh, just walked in the door it was a pretty smooth easy ride I had to tell some lady to shut up though in the quiet car cause she's just on her phone and I just said lady you're in the quiet car Go, you want to jibber jabber? Go to the other car, and that's exactly what I told her. Said, "Isn't not the car for chit chat." Then she looked at me. <laughs> uh, so that's not exactly what I told her, but I did tell her she was in a quiet car. And uh, so let's look at this, some of these comments. Uh, Tito says he can't stop laughing at the last cartoon, and he captures Tiny and his attitude brilliant, brilliantly. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much. By the way, speaking of calling me brilliant, uh, yesterday, no, Friday was the sixth. Year of the streak at Go Comics, where I haven't missed a day uh, without a brand new cartoon, which is something nobody's ever done before that we're we are aware. Of. Um, so at least not with Go Comics. Um, I'm sure there's been another political cartoonist who's drawn a brand new cartoon every single day for six years. Probably not. No. Um, the bad thing is I actually do eight a week because I do the CNN one. Uh, got a comment from DC Wise. The last one was wickedly accurate, well placed stiletto. Uh, Sasha said it's a little disturbing. Thank you. And, uh, and he, but he says that's probably exactly how it happened. Mike Watson didn't think the hearts belonged in the orange menaces <laughs> underwear. And, uh, Robert Cortina said it needed a trigger warning and he can't show his wife. And Sparky Perry said it was spot on. Thanks for all the comments. Here's another weird thing. Uh, YouTube says I have five comments, but that was six. I know, YouTube, you're weird. You know, I was... With all these roughs, uh, the assignment was Bed Bath & Beyond, and I did a couple of other roughs before I got the assignment, and when my editor told me to do something on Bed Bath & Beyond, I really was not into it. I liked the one that he picked, but it was my second favorite. I, I don't think that we picked the, the best one. It was the one with the My Pillow guy, um, and one of those with the My Pillow guy, and the other one wasn't very good. And, uh, but I was fine with the one that we picked. I, but I was not in love with the subject because it was just like, it just to me was not a heavy subject. I had seen a couple others do it, but I didn't really like them. Uh, guys, it's time to go. Bye.